that's a good morning. So hips lower. No, see that's that's a no rep. No, okay, so you're gonna set your feet just underneath your shoulders, get hips all the way down, push those knees out, eyes forward, eyes forward, <laughs> good, other stand hips, hips open at the top. And down? And back down. You gotta keep your feet on the floor though. Yeah, so let's try again. Okay, good. Stand it up all the way. Yep. Feet shoulder width, eyes forward, push the hips back and down. That's a good morning. So hips lower. No, see that's that's a no rep. Hips gotta go below the knees. Good, good dancing. Okay, now hips, hips, hips below the knees. Yeah. All right, what a cute, adorable video by Bailey Carson. And I mainly just shared this because it's adorable, but I also want to talk a little bit about biomechanics because babies are surprisingly really good squatters. Why are babies such good squatters? Well, they have different anthropometry. They have larger torsos and heads and then they have smaller limbs. So smaller femurs, smaller tibias, and that naturally lends itself to very upright squatting. They also have shallow hip sockets, which lets them go deeper. So if only we stayed with those exact proportions, we would all be insane squatters, but then we would not be very good sprinters now, would we? So as a personal trainer of many decades, who's trained a lot of different types of clients, I always try to hype people up. If they say, gosh, I wish I could squat like her. I wish my body was like her. I'll say to them, yeah, but you have super long legs. She would kill to have your legs. Or even if someone says they have some dysfunction, like I have anterior pelvic tilt, I'll say, yeah, you know what other group of people has anterior pelvic tilt? Sprinters. They tend to have APT and they're fast as fuck. Usain Bolt had anterior pelvic tilt and scoliosis and a leg length discrepancy. He was the fastest person on earth. Don't let your perceptions limit you. One of the best deadlifters of all time, Lamar Gant, had severe scoliosis and that was actually an advantage because his spine would shorten like five inches when he went to pull, which essentially made his arms longer. So now you know why babies squat so well, but different anthropometries lend themselves well to different types of sports. You may not be well architected for one sport, but you will be for another. Same with the gym. You won't be good at one exercise, but that same anthropometry will make you well suited for a different exercise. I'm Brett Contreras, a.k.a. The Glute Guy.